West Ham fans here, so Lundstein and Marshy, what a performance, 3-1 win against Man United, did you see that coming this morning? I didn't to be honest, but I mean the, the, you know, the, the situation at United are going for at the moment, I did say before the game that it's either going to be one or two things, isn't it? we're either going to turn up and turn them over, which we've done, or they're going to do that to us, you know, crisis, what crisis, but uh, no, we thoroughly deserve that, I think the likes of Mark Noble, I think he's the best player on the pitch, but I country him, as I say, I come in before, biggest critic, but I can't have a word said against him now, that's no. a leader's performance, a, a captain's role, captain's performance. And uh, he, he turned it on, and when he did, we played football. You know there were I mean? some good individual points. I mean, Zabaleta today at right back. Uh, when I see him in the starting lineup, I thought, is it a risk? But no, he, he, yeah, but no, he played. He was unbelievable. And, and Balbuena and Diop as well. Well, look at Zabaleta in the 94th minute, sprinting down past Luke Shaw. I mean, you know, that's good stuff from Zabaleta. But yeah, I think now, I, I, I generally think I said to them boys over there, I think it's the start of the Pellegrini effect, right? You know what I mean? I think uh, to beat United 3-1 there, and I think that was polite to them, to be honest. I think it could, was three, could have been four or five, maybe, another day. I think Arnautovic coming back was a major positive. I think, that, again, that, oh, every, every player in that squad, obviously, was superb. Long may this sort of performance continue. If he can get the best out of them players, obviously, moving forward, who's to say, obviously, who we can beat? You know, put anyone in front of us now at the moment playing football like that, and, you know, we're going to get three points off you. So it would just be nice if we can turn it on the way that we play football against the big teams. Can we do it against the lesser teams? You know, we lost against Bournemouth, lost against Wolves, rightly so. But I mean, it's just a bit of a gutter as well. Don't we play like that against them sort of teams? You know, we turn it on against the big boys. That's all well and good. But that was delightful. That's a pleasure to support this club when we're playing like that. Yeah. So, and, and as Don mentioned in the interview before, the atmosphere in here today was unbelievable, yeah, wasn't it? I was saying about that. I was sitting in a different place today. I had a bit of hospitality, luckily enough. I was sitting down by the dugouts and uh, listening to a bit of the teams and whatever, and uh, to a different perspective. But yeah, the atmosphere was rocking. I think the geezer on the pitch, you know, the, the announcer said it, didn't he? On the pitch side after the game, you know, the place was rocking, but. You know, we need just to make it like that again. And, you know, obviously Tottenham come down, don't they, the next time of game. We're going to a break and then obviously uh, Brighton next week, isn't it? But, yeah, no, keep the place rocking. Keep us playing football like that. He's obviously got a game plan, Pellegrini. I mean, I've knocked it before saying how long do we give him. But, to be fair, a bit contradictory. But if that's the way it's going to continue, then long may that be the case. You know just, I mean? uh, just before you go, Marshy, I mean, Felipe Anderson, first goal for the club. What a goal. What a goal. What a start as well. Special goal, weren't it? I mean, but I think, obviously, £42 million, when you pay that sort of money, you're sort of half expecting things like that, right? You know what I mean? And if it's going to come from someone, it's going to come from someone like that. And he didn't stop running the whole game before. Obviously, I think he's very good when in possession of the ball. I think, but when he hasn't got the ball at his feet, he could do a little bit more. But I think in time as well, obviously, with the Pellegrini selection, you know, tactical and stuff, I think that'll come with Anderson. You know, taking off Arnautovic again, you know, Antonio come on, done a little bit, didn't he? Work for the team. And I think we just all worked together today. I think, to be honest with you, I think we played United off the park. And look at Lukaku. He scored 10 goals in, what, the last 11, you know, barring today against us. He was a lost cause today, weren't he? Although I don't think he got the service, but I mean, you know, I think that's uh, more credit to our the back, back four, four, really. Yeah, I think, and, and Fabianski as well. I know he didn't have a lot to do today, but for 7 million, that's some sort of steal, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we need to, uh, if we can carry this on, though, take this into Brighton, go down there, see what we can get, go into a break, obviously, on the up, and then hopefully carry it on against Tottenham. But yeah, that spirit today was brilliant, and long may that continue. If that's what we've got to wait for. Um, we've been long in the wait to do that, haven't we? So. One player as well, just before you go, that I haven't mentioned yet, Robert Snodgrass, when he came on. He didn't yeah. stop running, did he? He was no, putting Robert. in tackles. Exactly, and I think when you're on the up, right, and obviously like we were, we'd scored the third goal. Obviously, you know, when United nicked their goal, I thought we would go a bit of panic stations, weren't it, 2-1. You know, uh, they come back, when they get on with the game, Snodgrass comes on, and I think that's what they implement in his game. You know I, I think Nicky said it up, uh, up in the stands, he said, he could become like, you know, like a Johnny Moncur type of player that comes on, six in the tackles, the fans are going to love him. 100%, it's like another Noble West play, you know, that first 20 minutes we play at home, you know, Noble gets his foot in, then he slides in tackle, everyone gets up for it, and Snodgrass, he come on, like you say, what did he do when he came on? Come on the other side of the pitch and he's on the far side shutting the ball down. And that's exactly what you want. You want the crowd up for it. Well, I think the crowd were up for it right from the start. We had a good start, didn't we? We got out of blocks really well. And that was good to see. And to be fair, we start that way. And then we sort of lose the tempo, don't we? Going forward in certain areas of the game and, you know, in a certain degree of the game. And now, obviously, it'd just be nice to just keep that tempo going, the way that we played there. Just keep that tempo moving forward. And uh, I think we'll be more than all right if we can, you know, obviously, January window will be coming up, see what they can do in there. I think he's got all that he needs. But, uh, yeah, I generally think, as I said to the others, I think this is the start of the Pellegrini effect, I really do. You know, so uh, to, to play against United at home like that, score three goals and could have been four or five, I think that uh, tells us all we need to know. Like I say, I've, I've been uh, up bad mouthed in Pellegrini early doors and you do need to give him time. And if that's the sort of time we need to give him, then like I say, a long way that continue. So well, we're, we're up to 12th it. now, as it stands. Obviously, you've got the three o'clock kickoffs, but... Yeah. It's a massive win and, you know, it's, we're all going to go home at the Amherst. But Marshy, thank you so much, mate. I'll see you at Brighton, mate. Take care.